morning my beautiful friends and welcome back to another video i hope you have been keeping so very well thank you so much for your patience with me over the past couple of weeks because if you didn't know uh it was my birthday recently on the 24th of november happy sagittarius season and as a birthday gift to myself i decided to take a week off from work so that's why i haven't uploaded in a couple of weeks but trust me when i say that uh taking time away from making videos really made me realize how much I love making videos. Anyway, I figured there was no better way to come back to YouTube than with a what I eat in a week video. As always, any recipes that I share in today's video, I will have them either linked down in the description box uh, to my website or they will be written in the description box below so that you can make them at home. Anyway, let's get into the food. This is everything that I ate in a week as a vegan and I hope you enjoy. So Monday morning, Morning started with a couple of pieces of pumpkin sourdough and then I got some of this vegan pesto from the supermarket I used that a lot this week just a little bit of a spoiler alert and I put it on some toast with some sun-dried tomatoes and then I also put some vegan feta on top this is just the bio cheese vegan feta that you can get from the supermarket here in Australia then after that I decided to try one of these new plant-based protein bars that I found at the supermarket they were on special and honestly they're really good the special got me because now I'm buying them all the time then at 2 p.m. I decided to try and make some homemade gnocchi it was really not that good so <laughs> I'm not going to be linking this recipe anywhere but once I actually come up with a good vegan gluten-free gnocchi recipe I will be sure to share it with you then I was really in the mood for some pasta and decided to trial a recipe for this like creamy alfredo herby kind of pasta sauce Cara said it was the best creamy pasta that she has ever eaten uh, and I was very surprised by that so yeah it was just a creamy cashew uh, sauce that I put some dill as well as some chives through and I just served it with some fettuccine and that was dinner then the next day I went to Next Door Burley which is a cafe here on the Gold Coast to do some work but before I started work I decided to have some avocado toast as well as an iced cacao are we surprised probably not PS this is a really great place to go for a decent sized avo toast on the coast then I didn't get home from there until 2 30 and I was very hungry so I decided to roast up about half of a head of cauliflower I roasted this just with some olive oil as well as some almond meal and then I also added in a little bit of nutritional yeast and salt it's my favorite way to roast pretty much everything and then I decided to make a tahini slaw um, and so I just put tahini lemon and maple pull together and then I mix it through a slaw mix I put that into a bowl with some cos lettuce and my cauliflower and that was that then I had another one of these protein bars because like I said I'm addicted to them now so love that for me I had a late dinner tonight because I had played sport earlier in the evening so I just cooked up quickly some chickpea pasta cut up some cos lettuce and then I served um, the chickpea pasta with some of this pesto again it's like four bucks from the supermarket and it tastes really really good just an FYI uh, I put the pesto through the pasta and then I put the pesto into the bowl with the cos lettuce that I had prepared added some sun-dried tomatoes as well as some vegan feta of course iconic trio and then I put some hemp seeds on top as well this was super filling and super nourishing especially after I had been playing sport uh, in the early evening after that I was still a little bit hungry though so I decided to have one of these panna ice cream things they were on special at the supermarket so that's why I got them and they were really good on Wednesday morning I woke up feeling something sweet and decadent so I decided to make myself a chocolate peanut butter smoothie bowl on top of this I just put some granola strawberries some vegan Nutella as well as some rose petals for aesthetic then for lunch I was really feeling like making some rice paper bacon I am going to put the rice paper bacon recipe in the description box below I love making rice paper bacon and I personally think that I am really 
good at it so love that and then I yeah was making a blat or a blat whatever you want to call it so I just had some lettuce avocado tomato and the rice paper bacon on some gluten-free bread it was really good then on Wednesday night as always I go to my friend's house on Wednesday nights for dinner and um, she just made us some soba noodles and these are amazing they're really really good especially in the summertime on Thursday morning I decided to trial a different method of making my chickpea scramble because I'm working on my ebook at the moment and chickpea scramble is of course going to be in there today I decided to try blending it just to get more of an eggy texture it didn't end up the way that I wanted it to end up uh, but I still obviously ate it it was really delicious so I just had um, a couple of pieces of toast and then again I had some pesto this is a tomato pesto that again you can get from the supermarket and then I put the chickpea scramble on top as well as some chives because chives make everything taste better in my opinion so yeah that's what I had for breakfast on Thursday morning then at 12 30 p.m. I decided that I felt like some lunch so I decided to chop up some lettuce as well as some cherry tomatoes and then I also decided to make a dressing I guess a dressing is the word with just oil lemon maple and salt and I just mixed this together and I decided to make a black rice salad today I saw this in a recipe cookbook like someone had made a black rice salad so I decided to try making my own and I loved it so much I love the flavor of black rice it's really delicious and yeah in this I just put some cashews goji berries the dressing the lettuce the tomatoes and yeah I think that's all that I had and the black rice of course and yeah really yummy and really nourishing then that afternoon I was uh, shooting a recipe for Cocobella because I do recipe development for them uh, so I shot this recipe and ate a couple of these Lamington inspired cookies so good then for dinner on Thursday night our friend came over for dinner and I decided to make uh, homemade pizzas so I just had some roasted pumpkin vegan feta as well as some pineapple and some pizza sauce then I also cooked some mushrooms sliced some tomatoes sliced some capsicum I had some of the tomato pesto got some vegan cheese and yeah it was really really yummy we just all made our own pizzas I love having pizza night or like taco night and things like that with friends because we we all get to make something that we love it's like communal eating love to see it okay Friday morning I woke up and I was feeling like some fresh fruit yellow nectarines are in season and they are my favorite so yeah I just had some yellow nectarines to start the day and then at 10 a.m. I was feeling hungry so I had an ice cacao first one in the entire video and I have a strong feeling I only had one ice cacao this week which is kind of criminal anyway I then had some pesto on toast as well as some leftover pumpkin from the night before and then I added on on some sun-dried tomatoes as well as vegan feta again the vegan feta that I choose to eat most of the time is bio cheese because it's the most affordable and it's really really yummy then I decided to try one of these brownie bars that my friend posted about on Instagram saying they were really good again they were on special at the supermarket so I just thought I'd give it a go these were so good I highly recommend trying them and then in the afternoon for a late lunch I decided to make some black bean and quinoa nachos so it was just some corn chips with the black bean and quinoa mix then I added on some charred corn as well as some fresh tomato salsa I made a cashew sour cream and then yeah that was it that's all I had on the nachos it was really really good I love doing things like this just like figuring out what I have in the house and making something from it and this was a really really filling um, but also delicious lunch so yeah really really good then this evening I was in the mood to cook as we can tell because I made some homemade spinach and vegan ricotta cannelloni and cannelloni is like such a nostalgic meal for me I love it so much and genuinely I was so impressed with how this turned out like this recipe I love so very much again the recipe for the filling for the cannelloni is going to be in the description box below definitely recommend trying it out 
Okay, Saturday finally has arrived and I started by putting some vegan Nutella around the glass of this to try and make it look aesthetic, but it really didn't work out the way that I wanted it to. Anyway, I had some chia pudding that had been in the fridge from the night before. So I put that into this glass jar, topped it with more Nutella and strawberries, and that was my breakfast. Then at 11 a.m. I started feeling hungry, so I decided to make myself a nourish bowl, but it turned into a nourish plate. I just had some spinach as well as some quinoa. Then I made tahini slaw again, which I'm loving so much at the moment. Put some cooked chickpeas as well as avocado and roasted pumpkin. And then I put more of a tahini drizzle on top as well as some snow pea sprouts because they make everything look like it could be served in a cafe. So. <laughs> then on Saturday night I went to my friend's house for dinner and we just got Indian takeaway so I just got a vegan korma and it was really really yummy. Sunday morning finally rolled around and I had some of this really delicious cashew cheese as well as some cherry tomatoes and then also some tomato pesto on bagels. I love bagels so very much and so does Kara so we pretty much always have them in the house. Um, again yeah this pesto $4 from the supermarket. It's really, really yummy. You just get it in the normal like pesto aisle. Uh, really recommend. I got it from Woolworths. So yeah, this was my breakfast on Sunday morning. Super delicious and super nourishing. Then for lunch, I decided to make myself a curry. I just used some coconut milk as well as some pumpkin. Then I used some curry powder as well as some turmeric veggie stock, uh, some salt, and yeah, I mixed this all together over the heat. Then I also added in some chickpeas and I served it with some rice, just some basmati, is that how you pronounce it? Basmati rice? I'm probably so incorrect, I'm always pronouncing things wrong. Anyway, then I put some coconut yogurt on top as well as some chives and that was my lunch. For dinner, I was just feeling something really simple. We had barely any groceries left in the house. So I just made some maple roasted pumpkin in the oven and then I steamed some broccolini as well as some asparagus and we had some vegan sausages to go with it as well. So yeah, dinner was literally just this. It was some greens, some roasted pumpkin and some vegan sausages with barbecue sauce and it was a simple and perfect way to end a week of vegan eats. Alrighty, my beautiful friends. So that was everything that I ate in a week as a vegan. Thank you so much for being here and for watching today's video. If you did enjoy it, I'm going to leave a couple of other videos on the screen uh, that I think that you might like if you'd like to check them out. I'm really excited for all of the content that I have planned for December. It's going to be a very busy month, but I am super excited for everything I have to share with you. Thank you for being here. Thank you for supporting me and I will see you very soon for another video. Have a beautiful day. Bye!